Hey, what's up guys? A while back we made this 3D printed Wolverine glove and you gave me a ton of suggestions of what I should do next. However, one comment caught my eye, so today we are doing webbed gloves. So just to quickly recap what we have done, we began this project by making a mold of our hand, we then took a bunch of pictures in Autodesk Remake to generate the hand into a 3D model that we now can modify. The procedure will be very similar to when I added the three brackets for the Wolverine glove, so with no further ado, let's go. Hey, that's not too bad. Looks pretty good. Yo, that looks sick. Awesome. So here we are in Simplify 3D and I'm going to make a small experiment. You see, the Wolverine glove was printed with the two parameters. When printing something hollow, that indicates how thick an object is, the wall thickness. Now, I would like to print the webbed gloves with only one parameter. So let me change to it so you can see what it looks like. So here we have two perimeters. And here we have one perimeter. I am not sure whether this will work or not, but let's try it anyways. So basically what I'm trading here is layer strength for a more comfortable glove because a stiff glove is not very comfortable to use for a long period of time so I would value to have a more flexible glove instead you know as long as it holds up anyways let's get printing You can see where the 3D printer is printing upright with no significant angles or irregularities. It does it very well. You would be surprised by how difficult it is to rip, even though it's only one layer thick. However, if we turn it around, you can see where my palm is. It struggled to uh, keep the layers together due to the aggressive angle. I could simply add a second wall so that the thickness would be doubled and it will look a lot better. But this is all about the experimentation and I really want to keep the flexibility that is achieved by only using one wall. So instead of throwing these out, I will try to repair them using my 3D pen. That's, now that's the flexibility I was talking about before. The repair was semi-successful. I can imagine it's still vulnerable where the layer separations have already started. However, it is good enough for a test, so let's go. Now that's interesting, you don't normally see people take advantage of webbed gloves but I could definitely feel that I was able to push a lot more water away from me and therefore propelling me forward faster than if I only used my hands. So would I say they worked? Yeah, sure. Too bad they look like crap. But don't forget to leave a comment of what I should do next and if you would like to print this yourself, it's now been uploaded to Thingiverse for you to download. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Bye.